Okay, in this problem here, we're going to find the constant term in this expansion. And well, if I think about this, I know that I'm going to have 2x plus 3. And that's going to be multiplied by this thing here, that it's going to have 8 terms. It's going to have a whole bunch of different scenarios here all added together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up having to multiply all these terms by this. And when I do that, I end up going to 2x times this, 2x, and so on. Now, if I want a constant term, 2x has to multiply by some variable here, or some term rather, x to the minus 1, so that they become x to the power of 0 when they combine. I'm also going to have to multiply 3 times all of these as well. And in order to get a constant term, I need to have a constant term in this expression. I need this already to be x to the power of 0. So what I need, and then I'm going to have to add these two terms together that I get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, in this part here, I'm going to look for x to the minus 1 if it's there, and I'm also going to look for x to the 0. And then I can multiply it by 2x plus 3. All right, so let's actually go and do that then. In order to expand it out, what I need to do is use this lovely tool called the binomial theorem. And I'm going to take just this part here. I know that n is 7, and I'm going to choose r. I'm going to look at this general term here only. And then it's going to be x to the 7 minus r times x to the minus 1, moving that up, to the r. Now, if I combine this, my x's end up being x to the 7 minus r minus r as well, which is 7 choose r, x to the 7 minus 2r. And so this is my x term. I want my x term, as I discovered, to be an x to the 0 and an x to the minus 1. So let this exponent, 7 minus 2r, equal first 0. <coughs> Subtract the 7, we go negative 7, so r is equal to 7 over 2. This is impossible. r must be an integer. Let's try negative 1. So if I go 7 minus 2r equals negative 1, minus 2r is equal to negative 8, r is equal to 4. So when r equals 4, I get an x to the minus 1. So this is r equal to 4. Let's find that specific term. And so if I plug in now uh, 7, and I'm going to plug in 4, I get x to the 7 minus 4 is 3 times x to the minus 4 which is 7 choose 4 x to the minus 1. So now I need to find out what 7 choose 4 is. <clears throat> well 7 choose 4 is 7 factorial over 7 minus 4 factorial over 4 factorial which is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and so on down to 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1 because this is 3 factorial. Canceling this out, canceling that out, there's 6, there's 6 and so I know this is equal to 35. <coughs> so going back to the front here I know that from this expansion one of these terms is 35 x to the minus 1. That's what I did all this work for. When r was 4, I got an x to the minus 1 with the coefficient being the 35 we figured out. So, there was no x to the power of 0. <coughs> Excuse me. There was no x to the power of 0. So I only need to find this term. And what's going to happen is 2x will be multiplied by this. When I multiply 2x 
times x minus 1, I get 70x to the power 0. So the constant term to this question is 70.